Join us as we explore the life of Ray Wilkins, a famous football player who shined at big clubs like Chelsea, Manchester United and AC Milan, and was a proud part of the England national team. We'll look at how Ray went from a young hopeful to a football legend, but there's more to his story. We'll also share about the tough times he faced, especially his fight with alcoholism. This journey through Ray's life will show us the ups and downs of a man who was not just a great player, but also faced big challenges. Ray Wilkins was born in Hillingdon, a place in London, and grew up in a family that loved football. From a young age, Ray was all about football, playing it any chance he got. His family, especially his father, played a big part in making him love the game. They would often go to watch football matches together, and this is where Ray's dream of becoming a footballer started. As a little boy, Ray was always seen with a football, kicking it around in the garden or the nearby park. His talent was clear even then. He wasn't just playing for fun, he was serious about getting better. Friends and family noticed how good he was and encouraged him to keep playing. In school, Ray was known for his skills on the football field. He played for the school team and was one of the best players. His teachers and classmates saw something special in him. They believed he could go far in football. Ray's early years were filled with playing, learning and dreaming about football. It was more than a game to him. It was his life's passion. This love for the game, supported by his family's encouragement, set the foundation for his journey into professional football. Ray Wilkins' journey in football wasn't all smooth sailing. He faced many challenges, especially when he started playing in youth teams. The world of youth football was very competitive. Many kids wanted to be the next big star, and everyone was fighting for a spot in the best teams. Ray joined the Chelsea youth team, a big step for a young boy with big dreams. At Chelsea, the competition was tough. There were lots of talented players, and everyone wanted to prove they were good enough to make it to the top. Ray had to work really hard. He trained a lot, always trying to get better and stand out from the rest. Being smaller and younger than some of the other players, Ray sometimes found it hard, but he didn't let this stop him. Instead, he used his intelligence on the field. He became known for his ability to think quickly, pass the ball well, and control the game from the middle of the field. This is where he started to shine as a midfielder, a position in the center of the field where you need to help both the defenders and the attackers. Ray's time in the Chelsea youth team was a period of learning and growing. He developed his skills, learned about the game, and started to show the qualities that would make him a great midfielder. Despite the challenges, Ray's love for football and his determination to succeed helped him move forward in his career, always aiming to become the best player he could be. Ray Wilkins's journey to professional football really took off at Chelsea, the club where he had been developing his skills as a young player. His talent, hard work, and understanding of the game soon paid off. Ray wasn't just another player in the youth team, he quickly showed he was ready for bigger challenges. At just 17 years old, Ray made his first appearance for Chelsea's main team. This was a big deal, because it's not common for someone so young to play in professional matches with older and more experienced players. But Ray was special. He played so well that he kept getting picked to play in more games. What made Ray stand out wasn't just his skill with the football. He also had a natural ability to lead and inspire his teammates. He knew how to motivate the team and make smart decisions on the field. Because of these qualities, Ray became the captain of Chelsea when he was only 18 years old. This was a huge achievement and showed how much trust the club and the coaches had in him. Being a captain at such a young age is rare in football. It meant Ray had to be the leader for players who were older and had more experience in the game, but he handled it like a pro. He led by example, always giving his best in matches and training and showing great dedication to the sport. Ray's early years at Chelsea were a time of rapid growth and learning. He became not just a fantastic footballer, but also a respected leader on the pitch. His rise to captaincy at Chelsea marked the beginning of a remarkable career in football, proving that he was destined for great things in the sport. Ray Wilkins didn't just become a regular player at Chelsea, he grew into one of the team's most important figures. His skills in controlling the game, making smart passes and leading his team on the field made him stand out. Ray wasn't just playing the game, he was thinking and strategizing, which made him a top midfielder. During his time at Chelsea, Ray's performances got better and better. He was known for his calmness with the ball, his ability to read the game and make the right decisions. This didn't just help Chelsea, it also made other big clubs take notice. One of the clubs that saw Ray's talent was Manchester United, one of the biggest football teams in England. They were so impressed with how he played that they decided to buy him from Chelsea. This was a big move for Ray, going from one famous club to another and showing just how much he had achieved in his football career. At Manchester United, Ray continued to shine. 
he became an essential part of the team, known for his leadership on the field and his excellent playing skills. His ability to work well with his teammates and his smart way of playing football helped Manchester United in many important matches. Ray's time at these clubs made it clear he was not just a good player, but a top midfielder who could make a big difference in the game. Ray Wilkins didn't just play well for his clubs, he also became a big name in international football. He was chosen to play for the England national team, which was a big deal because it meant he was one of the best players in the country. Ray didn't just join the team to sit on the bench, he became a key player, showing off his skills in big international tournaments. Playing for England, Ray got to compete against the best players from other countries, he was known for his technical skills like passing the ball accurately and making smart decisions during the game. These skills were very important because international matches can be tough and having a player like Ray could really make a difference. Ray Wilkins' career was full of important moments and great performances that showed his skill in football, both for his clubs and playing internationally. At Manchester United, a big moment was the 1983 FA Cup final against Brighton and Hove Albion, Ray was key in getting a draw, 2-2, two, two, which led to another match, replay. His team then won 4-0, showing how important he was on the field. Another big moment for Wilkins at Manchester United was his amazing goal against Barcelona in the 1984 European Cup Winners' Cup quarter-final. Even though United didn't win the overall match, Ray's goal in the first game at Old Trafford was unforgettable, highlighting his skill and ability to perform in big games. Playing for England, Ray got a lot of praise during the 1980 European Championship, showing his talent and steady play against some of the best teams in Europe. His efforts were crucial for England, making him known as a top midfielder. Even though England didn't go very far in the tournament, Ray's playing was a positive point, earning him wider recognition. Ray also played a big role in the 1986 World Cup in Mexico with the England team, reaching the quarterfinals. Despite being sent off in a game against Morocco, which caused a lot of talks, his overall play in the tournament was important and helped build his reputation. Throughout his playing days, Ray Wilkins was consistently excellent earning many awards and recognition. His leadership and football skills made him well-respected among fans. Being included in halls of fame and receiving awards after his career ended, and even after his death showed how much people admired him in the football world. Ray Wilkins faced several challenges in his football career, including the high expectations at top clubs like Manchester United and Chelsea, where the pressure to win was intense. Injuries were a significant setback for him, often hindering his ability to play and impacting his performance. Adjusting to new environments was another challenge Ray encountered, especially when moving to clubs abroad like AC Milan, where he had to adapt to different football styles and cultures. This change was not just professional but also personal, affecting his daily life. Being a well-known footballer, Ray also dealt with the constant attention from fans and media, which meant any mistakes on the field were heavily scrutinized. Despite these hurdles, Ray's resilience and dedication shone through, demonstrating his strength in facing adversity and maintaining his passion for the game. After ending his playing days, Ray Wilkins smoothly transitioned to coaching, taking up important roles at different clubs. He didn't stick to just one team. Instead, he shared his wisdom across several, often stepping in as an assistant manager. Here, Ray played a crucial role in nurturing new talent. His deep understanding of football tactics, gained from his own playing experience, was key in shaping the playstyle of the teams he guided. Ray was more than a former player turned coach. He was a guide and a strategic thinker, influencing his team's performance and aiding young players' development both on and in some ways off the field. Outside of the coaching realm, Ray carved out a space for himself in football broadcasting, earning respect as an insightful analyst. His move to media was marked by the same sharp insight and deep understanding that defined his earlier career phases, Ray had a knack for making complex football strategies clear and straightforward, endearing him to audiences. His commentary offered more than game highlights. It delved into the tactical whys, giving fans a richer grasp of the game. Ray Wilkins's life outside of football was rich and varied, filled with interests and connections that went beyond the pitch. He was a family man, deeply devoted to his wife and children, with whom he shared a close and loving relationship. Family was a cornerstone of his life, providing him with support and grounding amidst the highs and lows of his football career. Apart from spending time with his family, Ray had personal interests that kept him engaged and active. He was known to be a thoughtful person who enjoyed reading, and he had a keen interest in history and sports beyond football. These interests allowed him to have a well-rounded life, 
contributing to his personality and depth as an individual. Even after retiring from professional play and coaching, Ray remained deeply connected to the football community. He often participated in charity football events and was involved in initiatives to support young players and former professionals. His love for the game was evident in his continuous engagement with football at various levels, always eager to give back to the sport that had given him so much. Regarding his financial situation and why he left behind relatively little money, it's worth noting that Ray faced some challenges later in life, including health issues. His battles with illness could have led to significant medical expenses, and his commitment to rehabilitation and recovery might have also required considerable financial resources. Moreover, maintaining a lifestyle and managing the costs associated with his public and personal life could have contributed to the state of his finances at the time of his passing. Ray Wilkins faced several health challenges throughout his life, notably his struggle with alcoholism, depression, and heart conditions. His battle with alcoholism was something he spoke about openly, sharing his experiences in the hope of helping others facing similar issues. Ray's honesty about his addiction brought attention to the struggles many individuals face, highlighting the importance of seeking help and the possibility of recovery. In addition to his fight with alcoholism, Ray also dealt with serious heart problems. He had a condition that required careful management, and in July 2017, he underwent a double heart bypass surgery, a major operation that showed the severity of his heart issues. Despite these health battles, Ray remained active in raising awareness and advocating for better understanding and support for those with similar conditions. Tragically, Ray Wilkins passed away on April 4, 2018, after suffering a heart attack. He was 61 years old. His death was a significant loss to the football world and brought attention to the health risks associated with lifestyle and stress, particularly in high-pressure environments like professional sports. Ray's openness about his health and personal challenges made a considerable impact, contributing to the broader discussion on health awareness, especially related to heart conditions and the dangers of alcoholism. Through his public discussions and advocacy, he helped to shed light on these critical issues, encouraging a better understanding and fostering a supportive community for those in need. Ray Wilkins leaves behind a legacy that goes beyond his achievements in football. His battle with alcoholism, though tough, showed his bravery and strength. Despite his personal struggles, Wilkins stayed honest and didn't give up, his impact on English football isn't just about winning games. Wilkins, talking openly about his addiction, helped others realize they could ask for help too. His story teaches us that facing problems with bravery and getting support is important. Let's remember Wilkins for more than just his football skills. He was a role model for being a good person both on and off the field. His legacy will keep inspiring fans, players, and anyone who loves the game to be better.